Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sandeep Madan, your anatomy faculty and uh, now I am going to uh, welcome all of you guys to my 15 days 15 concept series where we are meeting on day 9. So if you have missed uh, some of the concepts previously, you can just go back and check on my Instagram as well as I am uploading the same on the YouTube. So whatever is visible for you guys, you can just go and check over there. So what is the today's concept today? We are going to discuss about the Ajaygas vein. And let me first start with the formation of the vein, like how the veins are formed. Basically, if you look at the subclavian vein, we have the left subclavian vein and we have the left internal jugular vein. In a similar way, on the right side, we have right internal jugular vein and the right subclavian vein also. Now, if you look at the subclavian vein, basically it is the continuity of the axillary vein and the axillary vein is supplying in the arm region and for the arm, we have the word brachium. So we can say in a, in a kind of a way, we can say that subclavian vein is representing the brachial element, correct? And the internal jugular vein is draining the head and neck region. So it is kind of, you can say it is kind of uh, representing the cephalic element. So brachial element and the cephalic element, when they will meet, what will be the name of this vein? That will be called as right brachiocephalic. On the left side also it will happen. So it will be left brachiocephalic. Now one very important point before proceeding, that if I ask you how many brachiocephalic arteries are there, that is only one, that is only on the right side. But if I ask you how many brachiocephalic veins are there, two, left and right. Now two veins, that means left and right brachiocephalic vein will merge and they will make the superior vena cava. So this is how these veins, they will merge, they keep on merging and the superior vena cava is formed. But lower down, when you see, we have one vein coming from the lower limb, external iliac vein. But from inside of the pelvic cavity, we have internal iliac vein coming, okay? And they will unite together to become the common iliac vein in the left side as well as on the right side, same thing. When both left and right common iliac vein will be uh, coming up, they will make the IVC. So basically, we can say the lower limb veins and the pelvic veins will come to make the common iliac and two common iliac will make the IVC. This is about the formation and now I will show that a Jaiga system is present in between these veins. What is the meaning of a Jaiga system? The meaning is we have right side this vein that is a Jaiga vein, but left side we do not have any a Jaiga. On the left side we have accessory hemi a Jaiga and the hemi a Jaiga vein only. But how to remember the drainage? Now you can see certain numbers are over there. Just look at them and can you tell me what are these veins? So what are these veins, the numbers, the numbers here are the posterior intercostal vein and actually we have the intercostal veins like uh, how many posterior intercostal will be there between the 12 ribs, right? We have the 11 posterior intercostal veins, right? And uh, these uh, particularly like we have the 12th vein also there, but that will be not called as intercostal. Why? Because to be called as intercostal below the 12th rib, we do not have further 13th rib. If the vein is present between the two, two ribs, then only we can say it is intercostal. If the vein is simply present below the rib, it is subcostal. I hope that makes it sense that we do have the subcostal vein also, which will uh, kind of, it is a 12th vein actually, but it is below the 12th rib and cannot be termed as intercostal vein. But anyway, let us now come to the like conclusion that how to remember which vein will be draining where. So you see first vein is anyway fixed. It will be on the right side and the left side it will be draining into the brachiocephalic only. Okay. But after that if you see whatever vein they can ask you on the right side answer will be agigus because the veins will be draining into agigus only. Okay. But left side we have three areas of drainage. One area that is brachiocephalic. Second area, accessory hemiagigus. Third area, that is hemiagigus. So total veins are 12 and the areas are 3. So if you divide 12 by 3, in each area there will be 4-4 four, four veins. So 1-4 to four veins in the first area, that is brachiocephalic. 
देन फाइव टू एट नेक्स्ट एरिया एक्सेसरी हेमी एजाइगस एंड लास्ट फोर दैट विल बी इन टू दैमी एजाइगस वेन डू यू एप्रिशिएट नाउ सो वी कैन इजिली रिमेंबर दिस वे एंड वन मोर थिंग the vein number 2 3 and 4 they will merge together to make the superior intercostal vein the point is it will be formed on both side right side as well as on the left side but the difference will be in the drainage because just now we have seen on the left side it will go to the brachiocephalic only because 1 to 4 should drain into brachiocephalic but right side after the first vein whatever vein comes it goes into aegyrus let us now take one question Which of the following does not drain into aegyrus vein? So hemi aegyrus vein, yes, it will cross the midline and goes into the aegyrus vein. Posterior intercostal vein, there are so many. But regarding left and right superior intercostal, superior intercostal is formed by second, third, and fourth vein. The left vein is the answer because the left superior intercostal vein is going to drain into the left brachiocephalic vein, right? So that's why that will be the answer. so i hope this concept is clear to you and uh, this is also clear that how we can easily remember the drainage part okay and one more thing that we can add in our notes that accessory hemi aegyrus and hemi aegyrus when they cross the midline at which level they will be crossing hemi aegyrus crosses at the level of t8 and the accessory hemi aegyrus that will be crossing the midline at the level of t7 So thank you so much looking forward to meet you guys on the next day of the series till then take care bye bye